hello, Lee. You there? All right, all right. Uh, my name is uh, Max Peterson. I work for the security company, just like you. But that doesn't matter right now. Uh, look, you've got to get out of that house as soon as you can, okay? I know you picked up the job to guard that house, but it must have been some sort of prank. That house has been abandoned for years. Rumor has it that house is extremely haunted. You might not be able to leave very easily, as you might see a door some endless hallway or something. Look, uh, if there are spirits in that house, you're going to have to use the stuff in the house in your wits to survive. Years ago, me and some other guys in the company looked through that house out of curiosity, so I might be able to help you out. So, which room are you hiding in tonight? Alright, the main living room? The front door of the house is behind you. Hopefully you set up some cameras around the outside of the house. If anyone sneaks in behind you, you should be able to see them in the mirror in front of you. You do not want to make a lot of eye contact with the spirit. So you use your security tablet to cover your eyes until they leave. But then there is the door to your right into the kitchen. If someone comes in from that door, you're just going to have to look away from them and not use your tablet. Just look away. This isn't the first time a worker has had to deal with spirits though. And we have a few gadgets to help you out. Your camera map will detect abnormal activity and mark a strong point of um, spirit energy as red. That's probably where the spirits will appear each time they come for you. You should also keep track of where you are, marking that room as yellow. Any blue lines on a room marked is a point where the house can be left, like a door or something. If someone leaves one of these rooms and isn't a connecting room, check the outdoor cameras. Alright, just stay safe. Avoid cut eye contact and try to get out of the house. If you can't, I'll contact you tomorrow. Now listen, if you do end up stuck there, be sure to hide in a different room the next day. You do not want to stay in the same room than once, alright? Good luck.
today at work so I can only assume you're still in the house. So what did you hide tonight? The bathroom, huh? Alright, not a bad choice. So in that room you might not have a lot in there but if looking away from spirits can keep you safe you should know that spirits can be rather odd. In there there are two switches, one for the light and one for the exhaust fan. The only room connected to the bathroom should be the hallway I believe. But there's also that big window in front of you. The window leads out into the west yard so watch those cameras. The red rooms on your map should show where the spirits will begin. So use those to find out who's coming for you. Looking at a spirit can tell you a lot about them. For example, a big spirit is likely aggressive and will use the most direct route, likely leading to the hallway behind you. If your back is against the door, you'll see the spirit in the mirror. Aggressive spirits are less hostile and they don't even know you're there. So turn off the light and make sure the fan is off. However, a smaller or more shy spirit may avoid the most direct route. Either because they're too shy or don't want to get in the big spirit's way. I assume this spirit would use the window to get in. You'll likely see their figure blocking your view of the outside. Shy spirits get very jittery around loud noises. So keep the light on and turn on the fan. Alright, that should be everything. I wish you the best of luck, man. Good night.
show up today at work, so I can only assume you're still in the house. So, what did you hide tonight? The kitchen, I see. <laughs> you know, when I said I hide in a different room, you could have at least went a bit further than just one room away. Alright, anyway, there isn't a whole lot in there for you to use. Although, you may be able to use that microwave in there. You can easily just set it to a short timer for it to start beeping and scare someone off. Wait, 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 what? You say it only has one button? And it's stuck to 10 seconds? Oh no, that's that's really bad. Some spirit in that house must be the one that greatly affects technology. If it's been in that house for this long, all the technology in that house may be a bit strange. Okay, so if the microwave needs 10 seconds to go off, you're going to have to be super careful with your cameras tonight. Alright, the only rooms connecting the kitchen should be the hallway and living room, right? You'll have to look at those often. Use the red rooms to see where the spirits will come from and follow them closely. Remember, watching the spirit will prevent it from moving away. So if you need more time, you could stare at them to slow them down. The moment someone leaves from the hallway or living room, turn on the microwave. Hopefully, it should go off in time to scare them off. Just watch those cameras like a hawk. Got it? Alright, I wish you the best of luck. Good night.
Three, huh? You're doing an amazing job so far. So, which room did you hide in tonight? The garage? Okay, this might be a bit tricky. Remember what I said about blue lines on the map? You'll see that there's a giant one behind you on the map. That would be the garage door. There's also the door on your left, and a door in the corner ahead of you. I would imagine by now, the spirits are catching on to your presence more. So I feel they might be a bit more active tonight. Okay, listen up. If there's more spirits, you're going to have to do more work. The door on your left has, well, a door. But this door has a lock that's a bit more complex than just a dial, right? Alright, good. Keep the door locked. Although, I fear a spirit banging on that door trying to get in will damage the lock. If this happens, you will have to use those tools in the garage to repair and maintain the lock. So they don't bust down the door when they come back. But as for the door ahead of you... Well, there is no door, it just leads into the basement. If you're lucky, a shy spirit may be coming from there. So if you stare at them on the cameras, they may be hesitant to keep coming for you and head back a bit. But if they get through that door, I don't think you'll be able to defend yourself. Now, for behind you... Did you park your car in the driveway outside the garage? Alright, good. Tonight you'll have to use your car keys. Use the front porch camera to see if anyone comes close to the garage door. If they do get close, you'll have to use your keys to set off your car horn to scare them off. Watch out though. Using your car keys randomly might make that spirit move faster to find the source of the noise. You'll have to focus and multitask tonight. But I know you can do it. Good luck, man.
Day number three, I see, huh? Alright, which room did you hide in? The small bedroom? Oh, God. There isn't much in there for you to defend yourself with. Wait, 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 okay, okay, okay. If I remember correctly, this room has actually some speakers spread throughout the house. You can use this to keep the spirits away. Tap in your screen should activate the speaker to make a noise. If you see a large, aggressive spirit, I can't help but assume that it will come into your room, no matter what you do. So you'll have to consistently use the audio on this spirit to scare them away from your room. A normal spirit may not be affected by the sound though and will approach the door of the bedroom. If this happens, I say run into the closet next to the bed and hide there until they leave. Now for the closet, I can't help but think that it might not be very safe in there. If there's a spirit in there, I don't suggest staying in there for longer than you need to. Not to mention the large spirit coming in like I said earlier. I'm not sure how it would stay safe from my spirit in the closet, though. Wait, 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 what's that? There was a flashlight on the nightstand you picked up? Great, great, okay. I doubt you'll get much use of the flashlight outside of the closet, but in the closet, you could use it to ward off a spirit by shining the light on its face. But be careful, I doubt the flashlight has much juice left in it. This is a lot to handle, but I believe you can handle it. Good luck, man.
three, huh? All right, which room did you hide? The attic? Okay, let's see. So attics in a house are either really cold or super hot, depending on the overall temperature of the house, right? Lucky for you, a couple months ago, some teenagers moved into their house and installed a lot of fancy new Bluetooth tech before they left that house without even taking anything a few weeks later. You can't imagine why. Anyway, some of those Bluetooth devices include the thermostats, and although it may be legally questionable, your tablet can access any Bluetooth devices regardless if it was set up with someone else's phone. Remember what I said about red rooms. See who or what is coming for you. Large big spirits aren't big fans of the heat, as they already are pretty warm from the size. Likewise, smaller spirits aren't big fans of the cold, so you must use this knowledge well. The attic is big and dark with lots of beams everywhere, so it may take a while for a spirit to find you in there. Use this time to quickly find all the thermostats in your map to switch them to the correct temperature. Now, you might not leave yourself with enough time to react if you just let them come to you. I suggest seeing which one starts coming first and setting the thermostats in advance. Then watch the other one on the cameras, slowing them down. That way you can control who comes for you. Don't think you can get cocky though. All the thermostats have to match or the ad will just end up being room temperature. And I don't think spirits are going to care if it's room temperature in there. Okay, that should be all. Good luck, man. I hope to see you tomorrow.
so what did you hide? The study. I see. Wait, wait, what? Wait, 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 okay. You said the lights just cut out in the house? Alright, alright, um... I'm sure whoever used that room was a bit of a bookworm, so they probably like to read at night. Look around and see if you can find... Oh, you already found a flashlight. Great! Okay, after so much time out there, the light has much juice left, and you probably can't see any of the rooms properly. But, your camera can also pick up audio. Use the red rooms to get an idea of where they'll be coming from. As the study has a left and right door, if a ghost is right outside and you can't hear them anymore, use that flashlight to check the correct side of the room and shine on their face. That should scare them off. Now, I feel as though a smaller spirit may try to sneak up on you if you hear a sort of rustle sound or something moving. Check around your room for a smaller spirit and shine the light on them too. Alright, that's be everything. Pay attention to those cameras tonight, man, and you'll be just fine. Good luck.
to hear you pick up the phone, Link. Alright, day three. Which room did you hide in? The living room, the staircase. Alright, good pick. There is uh, one issue though. I'm sure you noticed that the fact it's downpouring outside, so I'm not sure if you're able to hear the spirits coming for you tonight. Not to mention how dark it is. You might not be able to see any of the rooms. So, in that room, there's a TV. Though, I'm not sure how that will help you. Wait, what? Wait, what? You say the TV shows nothing but colors? Hmm. When everything they start moving, check those channels. Somehow, I think the fact that technology has been affected by spirit energy is somehow Lean use that TV to see what they see. Alright, you'll have to use the TV to see where they are. Though, with how dark it is, they may be a bit more focused tonight. If you notice that they are at the same pace to get to your location, you'll want to use your cameras to look at the room they're in. Sure, you can't see them, but you're still technically looking at them. So this will hopefully make them not come in the room at the same time. Keep focus on what rooms are close to you. If a spirit is coming from the staircase, for example, they'll come from the left side. If they're in the dining room, they'll come from the right side. But with how confident they are tonight, are you be able to react to look away from them? I think they will attack you instantly, even if you look at them for a moment. So you have to be very careful with watching them tonight. Though, I'm sure you notice how loud that TV is. And I can't help but think that a spirit will become agitated from that noise. There's a closing in that room, right? Yeah, I would be wary of that. If you hear banging from that door, shut off the TV. I think they'll come out if you keep it on. Alright, I think that should be everything. Good luck, man. You got this.
Number three, I see. So, where did you hide for tonight? Oh, the hallway. Right. Okay, I'm not gonna question why you thought the main hallway was a good place to hide, but I think it can still survive. In this hallway, you have some sort of panel on the wall to your right. This panel controls locks on all four of the side doors, as well as the room's light. You can see how you protect yourself with those locks. But there aren't locks on the door ahead of you and behind you. If a spear is ahead of you, I think they'll be very easy to see. So, shut off the light. The door behind you leads to the bathroom. So, if someone is there and then vanishes, they're most likely behind you. So, shut off the light in this case as well. You'll most likely hear them leave. As for the other doors, you can only properly lock one door at a time. Each of those rooms has a ventilation system which connects to, I believe, the attic. If there is a, say, a small spirit in the attic and then they vanish, they're most likely in one of those four rooms after crawling through the ventilation. Find which one of uh, those four rooms they entered, which would either be the kitchen, theater, small bedroom, and dining room, and then lock the corresponding door with a panel. All right, you might have dug yourself a hole tonight, but I think you can get out of this mess. Good luck, man.
over here as well. A lot of people are anxious over some crazy men on the loose. Anyway, day four, huh? You're doing great so far, so where are you hiding? The staircase? Actually, that might be a good choice. So this may or not be a good idea, but if you're plugging your tablet into the nearby socket, you'll be able to make a loud static noise by tapping anywhere on the screen. So that socket is a bit off. Anyway, a larger aggressive ghost will likely be, you know, deterred by that noise. So when you see them, tap on that screen until they go back. A taller, less aggressive spirit will likely ignore the sound. So if they come to you, look away. That should be everything. I think. Good luck. Hello. Remember me? I trust you've been watching after that house. In return, we'll keep watching you. <laughs> to last this long, surely you must be the one. No one else could know us better. I'll let you keep this little game going. Tomorrow, though, I'll come to check on you. Right after I check on your little pal on the phone. Bye-bye!
dining, the master bedroom, I see. I was actually doing more research on that house and I learned that this house was the McCroy's house. I guess this must be the parents' bedroom they're currently in. I did also discover my search about a crazy man on the loose. Man, things are certainly getting crazy, that's for sure. Anyways, we should get back on topic. You might have found a note somewhere in there with a list of the home phones throughout the house, did you? Alright, great. Make yourself a little map, okay? Tonight, you're going to have to use your phone to call those home phones. A loud noise like a phone may lure an aggressive ghost that would go after anything. Try and use the cameras to lure this spirit as far from your room as you can, okay? What's that? You say you feel uneasy about the bed in front of you? Well, if there is a spirit under that bed, it's probably a small one. So if a small spirit comes from under the bed, you'll have to call the phone inside the bedroom to scare them back. However, the ringing of the phone may agitate certain types of spirits. Should you see unusual spirit type, hang up on any phones you're calling. Okay, you should have this one in the bag. Good night and good luck. Hello, remember me?
So, where are you hiding? The dining room. Oh, God. I just remember my morning with me reading newspaper and seeing how there's a crazy man on the loose. <sighs> that still gives me the shivers. Anyways, that's beside the point. If I remember correctly, that room's power's a bit odd. You'll have to hook your camera up to the fuse box behind you and access the basement camera to keep the room charged up. If it runs out, the room will likely go dark, but you can just charge it right back up. There's a door to your left. If a spirit appears there, you'll have to avoid eye contact. Though, if the lights are off, I'll doubt you'll see them. Now, those windows ahead. I'd say there could be a small spirit outside, but remember, smaller spirits tend to be more shy. It will likely only move when you can't see it, when you look in the camera, so when the lights are off. Though, if it gets in, I don't as much... Wait, wait. There's the big clock in that room. Every hour that clock chimes it. And it's loud enough that the spirit will be super close to the window or in the room. I think it'll be scared away. But, on the other hand, you've been in there for long enough that the... I think your camera system may be a bit corrupted. Like the other weird technology in that house. But your camera may alert you if it sends a threat to the system. The, there may be a bug or so. Just find the alert when it appears and deal with it. Alright? It's going to get tougher tonight, but I know you can do it. Good luck.
here for a while, huh? Day 4, good lord! Alright, I was told from my boss that after this week we'll be taking two weeks off and he's worried over the fact that there's crazy men on the loose. Alright, where'd you hide? The basement? Hmm. Alright, in the basement there should be a fuse box, though I believe it only contains the right side of the house, since the house is so large. You should see the map on the fuse box lines up with the map on your cameras. You can use this fuse box to shut off the lights in a specific room, so... Oh! You can only shut off one room. Ha! Huh. Alright, tonight you'll have to use your cameras as well. Use the red rooms to see where they will be starting. And use the fuse box to cut them off. I think that they will notice that the room being shut off and... Where if how many times you blasted some noise in their face or... Blinded them with some light. We'll likely go back to avoid something like that. You'll have to take turns with the spirits, cutting them off when possible. Now, I'll be careful. After four days, I fear even the camera system may become corrupted, like the technology in that house. So, if you see something odd, be sure to look away. Alright, you've done good so far. Just keep it up, okay? Good night. Hello.
link day number four don't worry man i'll make sure you get the biggest race you can imagine for this anyways where'd you hide the theater oh speaking of theater you know how they have a big screen there to view things throughout the years i saw something about a crazy man on the loose man i hope the police can catch him soon enough anyways we should get back on topic that room is so bright there's no way you can hide in there and there's only one way in and one way out wait you say the TV remote turns off the lights? Jeez, I knew the technology in that house was weird, but this is just ridiculous. Okay, to your right is a curtain that blocks the door to the hallway. This will keep you out of spirit's line of sight, but it won't keep them out. If the lights are off, the light from the hallway will likely show the figure as a shadow on the curtain. I would say watch the hallway camera. But, well, you probably can't see as it's very cloudy tonight. Likely, the cameras can pick up audio as well. So be careful. And if you think someone's in the hallway, turn off the light until they leave. That should be it, I think. Pretty simple, huh? Alright, good luck. Hello there. How have you been? I'm sure you've been keeping yourself entertained over there this week. So just how much longer will you last? We're getting used to your tricks, you know. <laughs> oh, how I long to see your face again. I hope you show as much fear as you did back in the factory. That's right. I know you're the one. We know you're the one. This game ends tomorrow. We've wasted enough time. We'll get our revenge on you. But not before I take out that friend of yours on the phone. <laughs> Goodbye.
research on that house and I learned that this was the McCroy's house apparently. I guess they must have had a child since there's a playroom in there. I, d I also did discover my search about the crazy men on the loose. Man, things are getting crazy recently. Anyways, let's get back into the main topic on how you'll survive. So, face away from the door. Behind you is a passage not seen in the cameras. There's a lamp you can turn on in there with a remote. Though, I doubt it has much juice left in it. So don't use it too much. The lamp should let you see the shadow of anyone standing behind you, ahead of you. This is where the playroom's light comes into play. You'll see the room is only lit up with some lamps. That's because the room's light is crazy bright. Boo, super careful though, as you will only want to use it when a spirit's behind you, as them being scared may give off enough energy to keep that light working. Don't ask how, but if no one is there, I doubt the Bob will be able to handle it. So, you'll be doomed. So, we'll have to watch those cameras like a hawk, alright? But man, I'm surprised you managed to keep your head together as well as you have though. I must warn you, you've been pretty stressed for days now. I think you might start seeing things, such as a scary figure you've seen. Even if they're actually friendly, the situation may make them seem as something wrong. If this should happen, look away whatever way you can. And be sure to not think it's real. You do not want to see those visions to make you waste the light. That should be everything. Good luck.
doing good, it's in the fact of your current situation. As for me, I'm anxious over the fact that there's a crazy man on the loose. So, anyways, where are you hiding tonight? Ah, the large living room. Okay, so the camera should have... Wait, 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 what? You say most of the cameras don't work? You only have six left? Oh, that's bad. Okay, normally you should never do this, but you'll have to for tonight. If a spirit's in your room, go to a working camera and press space to shut it off. Making a sound that should ward them off. Only issue is that the camera takes a whole minute to reboot. So if you started to run out of cameras, you can always set an enemy to keep them from moving as fast. Though, by now they'd be less likely to be fully stunned if you look at them. Man, I'm surprised you managed to keep your head together as well as you have. Though, I must warn you, you've been pretty stressed for days now. I think you might start seeing things. Such as an intimidating figure you've seen, even if they're actually friendly. The situation may make them seem unfriendly and, you know, horrible. If this should happen, look away in whatever way you can, okay? That should be everything. Good luck! Hello there! How have you been?
we'll let you know that after this week, we're taking two weeks off because our boss is worried about our safety as a crazy man is on the loose. Anyways, we should get back on topic. So, where are you tonight? Ah, the laundry. Well, there's two machines in there. The washer on the left and the dryer on the right. We'll have to watch the cameras carefully tonight so that you know who is attacking you. Since you have your back to both of the doors, you won't see who's in the room. Though you may hear the door open if both machines are off. A large, aggressive ghost will likely be wore off by the loud washer, the machine that's on the left. While a small, timid ghost will be wore off by the humming of the dryer, the machine that's on the right. However, certain spirits may find the noise of the machine calming. So, if there's a red camera that doesn't seem like the others, and someone's in there, turn on either of the machines, but be careful as to not turn on the wrong one, depending on which of the other spirits is coming to be. Man, I'm surprised you managed to keep your head together as well as you have. Though, I must warn you, you've been pretty stressed out for days now. I think you must start seeing things, such as, as a scary figure you've seen. If they're actually friendly, the situation may make you see them as something wrong. If this should happen, look away in whatever way you can, okay? That should be everything. Good luck.
number five. So, where are you hiding? The... the bunker. I thought we were here in the hatch in the basement with enough junk that it wouldn't be found. Alright, luckily I can remember enough about that bunker to help you out. So, you have two doors you can use. But these doors run on some finicky power. I wouldn't keep them closed any longer than you have to. There's cameras outside of your room on both sides. When you see someone super close to the camera, shut the door quickly. If you hear running, you should shut the door in the direction it's coming from. Now, for a smaller spear, I would say check the storage camera. You might see them hiding in there. If they leave, check the top left camera. I think you may see them run past. Shut the left door as fast as you can, alright? If you never check on that camera, I think the small spirit will just quietly enter the room with no warning. Some spirits might just sneak in the room. If they're on the left, raise the monitor. If they're on the right, look away. Alright man, good luck, I think you got this. Well, hello there. You may not be the one, but you've helped him so diligently. You can be no better than he is. So why don't I get you out of the way, hmm? Hey, hey, hey! Get away! Don't make me! Hey! Holy hell, I think that was the guy in the news. Okay, okay. Uh, stay focused and do what you can do, alright? I gotta call the cops. Good luck!